Hi everyone, welcome to my very first at home experiment. I am sitting in my own kitchen slash living room area. Uh, my husband's over my shoulder doing a Zoom meeting outside, so if you hear his voice, I apologize for that, but it is what it is. This is the situation we're in, and I wanna make sure I can give you guys something to do at home. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is one of the experiments in my new books, which are out today. Yes, I'm so excited about it. Um, these are called fake tattoos. So I'm gonna go over first the materials you need, and then we'll go over a little bit about how you do this. Um, so the very first thing is that you you are going to need some cornstarch. For every color that you want, you're going to need a quarter cup of cornstarch. Same thing with water, you're gonna need a quarter cup of hot water for every single color that you're gonna use in your fake tattoo. Um, the color is dictated by your like sugary drink mix. So I just happen to have some Kool-Aid mixes because I keep it in my science kit, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, so you can use these. Reds, purples, blues are really good colors. I like the dark bright colors just because I think they're kind of cool. Um, but that's, my, that's what I like. You're also gonna need an alcohol pack you don't actually need this, um, especially don't dip into your safety kit right now, but it is something that helps keep your skin dry and it just helps it with the adhesion part a little bit. So you can use it if you want, but you don't technically need it. Like safety first, right? Okay, you're also gonna need the quarter measuring cup. That's to measure out your quarter cup of water. You're going to need a bowl and a spoon for every single color that you're going to do. I like to use Q-tips to apply my fake tattoo, so you can use that, but a paintbrush, um, anything, a pencil honestly would work well. Use the eraser side, as long as it's a bad pencil and you're gonna throw it out, so that would work. And then the very last thing you need is liquid bandage. Again, you don't actually need this, but it just helps keep the tattoo around, so if you happen to have liquid bandage around or any type of like adhesion or glue um, or adhesive, I would highly recommend liquid bandage, it's a good one. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna take your bowl and your spoon and you're gonna mix your three ingredients to Together. So you're gonna have to pick a color. Um, I'm trying to think what color do I want to use. Let's use blue. I don't think I've ever done this with blue. Well, in like a year. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use blue. So you're gonna open up your sugar package and you're gonna dump it all into your little container. Uh, it doesn't have to be a plastic bowl, but these are my science bowls, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, you're also gonna need a quarter cup of cornstarch. Ooh, that is like potent. <laughs> that is a very strong. Like, what is that? Blue raspberry type? Grape, it's a grape smell. Okay, quarter cup of cornstarch. If you have sensitive skin and you don't really like cornstarch or want that on your skin, because that is how we're gonna use, um, or what we're gonna use as our base to make our tattoo, baby powder works really well as, uh, in, in, as like a substitution. Um, I have tons of cornstarch in my house because that's how I breathe fire, so that's readily available for me. Um, and then what we're gonna do is you need a quarter cup of water. And so you're gonna make this little concoction for every every single color that you want in your fake tattoo. Okay, so I'm just gonna do purple because I wanna make sure that I can do this as many times as possible and I don't know how long I'm gonna be in self-isolation. And so I wanna make sure that I can do this one every single week. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, ration my Kool-Aid mix, which I feel like that's a crazy thing to say, but it is what it is. Those are the times we're in right now. Um, because this stuff is so bright and can possibly stain, I highly recommend doing it on something like a paper towel so you can soap up any of your mess if you're like me and having like issues. <laughs> okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir it completely until you get like a bright solid color. So for me, the purple one has this like almost red peachy color. Okay, so there's that. All right, so once this is all mixed together and you have it for every single one of your colors, you wanna make sure all of your colors are ready. You're gonna grab your alcohol swab. Again, this is a step you can skip if you wanna not jump into your first aid kit, but it just helps kind of clean your surface. And I've actually found that it makes things less itchy. Um, my skin's a little sensitive, so that's something I pay attention to. Okay, so you're gonna clean your area. You're just rubbing it over there. Boop, boop, boop. No big deal. You probably could use hand sanitizer if you happen to have hand sanitizer out in your house right now. You could use that as well. I've never done that before. Okay, so this has to dry. Okay, so now for the fun part, which I am terrible at, by the way. Like, I am absolutely terrible. So what you need to use is your Q-tip, or you can use like a paintbrush or anything like that. I like to get a lot of it on my Q-tip my cotton swab and then dab it on the edge and then start drawing on your surface. So I'm gonna try to make a smiley face here. Um, I am not a very good artist, so uh, this is something where I really wish my best friend who's in Seattle, she's an amazing, phenomenal artist. A shout out to Miss Birdie, she's amazing. Um, I wish she was here with me because this is something that we would have a lot of fun with. 
So what you do is you just kind of very slowly draw your design. And so I've decided today that because my books are coming out today, I'm going to make a big smiley face, happy tattoo. Um, so this is me being extra happy. So the more you put on, the kind of like the thicker the color is going to be. So I kind of like dab it on as much as possible. Make sure you're getting that cornstarch base as well and you're not just getting the food coloring. Um, when the first time I did this one, I basically just put Kool-Aid on my arm, <laughs> which works, but it's, it's not as great. Um, and I'm also having a leaky eye, so I like to have spare Q-tips around or spare, um, spare paper towels so you can kind of clean it up as it goes. Okay, so now this is the hardest part. You actually have to wait for like three minutes and just kind of sit here. So I'm gonna sit and wait and then I'll zoom ahead the video when we get there, so. All right, so I'm coming back here because I want to show you. You can start to see the color change. So like at the very top, oh gosh, I'm be of course I put this in a weird spot. But you can start to see at the top of my eyes right there that the color is changing and it's lightening up. And so that's how you know you're doing a good thing. So keep it going. I can see in the middle of my smile, it's too dark right there. You're really looking for it to be completely white where all the water has evaporated. So I still need a few more minutes here. Okay, we're finally ready. So, I've got my tattoo, I've got my smile, it's ready to go. Now the last thing I wanna do, and again, you can skip this step if you want to, but I'm going to apply some liquid bandage. And so this is just a way to kind of force the tattoo to stay. Um, if you're using multiple colors, I usually go all the way to this step, and then I add the second color in to try to avoid, mi avoid mixing and blending. Um, but I'm also not very good artist, so I skip that step usually. <laughs> um, but the more colors you do, let it dry, and then put more on, let it dry, and then put more on. But once you're ready and your, your tattoo is completely locked in, you're gonna grab your liquid bandage and you're gonna cover your entire thing. So again, I'm gonna do this upside down just so you guys can kind of see this. But so I'm gonna go through and I'm going to coat my entire thing and I probably should start at the top. And so the whole piece needs to get wet. And so hopefully you can kind of see the change in the color. But I'm going to have the whole thing completely covered with my liquid bandage and I'm going to cover the whole thing over there. The reason I'm doing this is because the liquid bandage acts like an adhesive, so kind of like tape does. And so what it does is it locks in your tattoo on your skin. So the adhesive itself is going to bond in two different ways. The first thing it does is it makes a bond with the tattoo on the top of your skin. And then the second thing it does is it makes a bond with your skin itself. So it bonds to two different things and that's kind of what it adhesive does is it's gonna take um, like uh, it would be a way you could tape like a poster to your wall so you your tape itself is gonna be taped to the poster but it is also gonna tape to your wall so it has to form two different bonds and that's how adhesives work so you're gonna go through the whole thing completely cover your smile and so there's secret science in here as well so in that last step we had to have evaporation occur we had to have the water all completely go away and so if the water doesn't evaporate, then you can't do your next step. And so during evaporation, what happens is the water molecules are sitting on your arm and it actually takes the heat from your arm because our bodies are constantly releasing thermal energy. And so it takes the energy from your arm and from your body and it allows for all the water molecules to evaporate. And so the water itself goes from the liquid state into the gaseous state. And that allows us to make a cool fake tattoo. If you guys like it, check out my book, Big Book of Experiments. There's 24 other ones in there. The majority of them you can actually do at home. You probably already have these materials sitting there in your kitchen. Um, I'm so grateful that I made that decision back in May when I was putting these all together for you guys. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in with me. I hope you liked it. And I'm Kate the Chemist, and that's my fake tattoo.